because I thought we needed to work on after the last game. And one of the comments that uh, one of our key players said is like, hey, I wish we had a game this week. Yeah, I'd like to get that one. But uh, we had a lot of things. Again, we took the bulk and even through uh, shoot as much as last night and this morning, still looking at it ourselves. You know, typically to play a game, you do all, all your all-season study, you get an idea of things that the team's going to do to, uh, to work on. And a lot of times we don't go until Sunday afternoon or Monday morning know with your game plan. So we didn't throw, you know, we, we had a chance to bring it again, look at recruiting, uh, look at getting some guys well, look at some young guy work and bring some of our young players along. But we really just, again, what are some things we need to emphasize we can get better? So, uh, uh, you know, I, whether they're dying to get a light practice yesterday, that was uh, uh, pretty energetic. You know, sometimes you're taking off off uh, period of time and come back and you might be so okay, we really got to go out and practice harder because they just had an off day. Uh, we think we're kind of far enough into it. We try to stay with the normal routine and use Tuesday and Wednesday as our quality work days. And so we had a normal Sunday. And there was a lot of balance and energy last night. Hopefully, it'll get a build through the week because uh, homecoming and uh, November, five game stretch, three at home. You want to have some energy. And you don't want on Sunday night, you want Saturday at 3 30. And I guess they just, uh, what they said, our Illinois games the next two weeks will be like 3 30 or 3 42, whatever. You, you talked about identifying things that you had to work with, work on. What did you really feel that you needed to work on? Well, again, you, you go, okay, let's start offensively. You know, you guys think we're pretty good. Uh, we're, you know, we're, we were 108th in the country in inter interceptions thrown. Now we, we moved we we move ourselves up to a whopping 97. <laughs> and you say, well, we throw the ball out. Well, look at, uh, look at teams like A&M and Houston and Oregon. It's the state. It's throwing for 440, throwing for 100 yards more than we are and got about six or seven less picks. Here's the guy who going for 300 games with no picks. And so when you're your team and, and you're trying to get wins, your margin of errors isn't quite as great to overcome a lot of negatives. we got a lot to work on. So we looked at that. And when you say interceptions, you think, about well, it's quarterback. Well, we had one in the damn practice that was on offensive tackle because his ability to do what he needed to do caused us to get a pass deflected because he didn't execute a scheme right. And an unblocked guy gets his hand on his ball because we had an MA. So it's not always just the guy delivering the ball. It's timing, it's, it's run game. You got some run game going, you got balance, you got play action, all those things. Uh, I think in the red zone, you know, we're completing like 52 or 53 percent of our passes. We're down there scoring. And so, you know, third and one, two, and three, I think we're like 51 percent of our passes. And you think, well, it's really good. These, these guys throw the ball well. When, like I said last year, when in competitive situations, how good really are you? Uh, when we've got the lead by one to seven points. We thrown 39 balls, we completed 19. It's 47%. We got the lead. Our defense has got us the ball. You got this really good offense. Well, let's go really good offense. Now we're just average enough to keep them in the game, lose momentum, and start playing behind. So there's a lot of things we work on just in, in conversions, ball security, and how to be aggressive. We did the same thing defensively. You know, look at the number of the last couple of games, the third downs that we got that we've, that we've let them off the field. You know, Michigan State made, what was it, eight, nine, ten in a row. Michigan scored three of their touchdowns on third downs, and several times we have an unblocked guy there to make a play. So you want to change the scheme when they won't let us put 12 out there. we got a guy three, and he's there to make the tackle. When he shoots your gun and make the play, get him on the ground. So we just went through talking about conversions, how to keep the ball, creating some more turnovers, some fundamentals of tackling, and uh, really didn't over-practice. These are some short things we want to concentrate on to see if we can be even stronger down the stretch. We're going to make some close games. We have a chance to be in some exciting games if we play well, and now how to find a way to make that player two to get over home. You mentioned fundamentals of tackling, basically. Is, is there anything that stands out to you as, you know, are a bunch of guys doing the same things wrong, or is it different for every guy, or just what kind of stood out to you is just why, why that's been an issue? It's different for every guy, and I, you know, kind of maybe a hard question to say, because I guess every situation is different. Mm -hmm. But to me, the more aggressive you are, the more assertive you are, you got a chance. And so that's one of the things we talk about our guys, you know, again, you know, you know, I think our offense is a lot better when it's on its toes and when it's heels. I think the same thing defensively. I think the team we're playing this week plays very well coming at you. You know, they get their running game coming at you. They have their misdirection stuff they do with their fly sweep. They're playing their defense. You know, it's really active, and I think a lot better than most people think. They're really pretty fundamentally good and active, but they're aggressive. And so, you know, we talked about some fundamentals. But, you know, you're, you're at a point in here where some of these guys beat up that some of the hit work you do, you end up doing with the guys that don't play. And the guys that really need, need it, they're kind of hit enough. How much do you hit them? So we've worked a lot on how to get better fundamentally about beating ourselves up. 
and that's the tough dilemma at this time of year. We've got to get so much better blocking and tackling, but yet, you know, this is technically our 10th week, not counting our preseason of three or four, so you're 14 weeks into it, and you've got some bodies that are getting a little, you know, smashed up a little bit, beating the bruise. They're not hurt, but beating we got a couple guys out, but everybody does. So how do we keep pushing? How do we keep the energy? How do we keep the effort? How do we keep building toughness? And by the way, don't cross the line and, and over-practice and beat your guys up. So uh, we looked at drills. I actually watched our guys do some drills, and I suggested, not that I have all the answers by any means, but I go, the way you're doing the drill is do less and do it harder because you're not doing it to speed you play with. So instead of getting a lot of reps and doing it at, at, at a pace that's not true game speed, slow the guy down and make it more of a quality rep and make it more kind of true realistic. So a guy feels how to break down how to make a competitive, I mean, don't, we always tell receivers, you know, don't run plays in practice on air at a certain speed because you're really messing with the timing of the quarterback. And he feels where you're going to be. I kind of need that Saturday 340 speed so I know when to let that curl and slant and go ball go. And so to me, we're at the point where, you know, less is more, but don't practice wrong if you don't have poor practice. So, you know, we've talked a lot too about working hard. We talked about mentally and emotionally working hard. When you're not going, or how hard are you really going? When you're, are you just sitting here, or how hard are you really going when you're not going? Because you're at the point physically, we got to be smart with these guys to keep some energy and speed. So we're challenging our guys how to think a little differently. You know, I think we're a little farther along. A couple years ago, we were just smashing heads together, trying to see who was tough and who wanted to hit. Could we get them tougher? Now we kind of know what we are, how do we make them better? So we're challenging our guys to work hard, and it's not just physically out there smashing heads we're doing. It's getting calls right and having the urgency to get it right, having the body language of playing offense and defense and kicking better. So. We'll see if we're mature enough to get it. But those are some things we hit last week. We took a lot off some players, but we we asked them, can you practice as hard as you've ever practiced without physically doing as much? And that means mentally how much you practice, which you're sitting back over and watching. So we'll see if we gain this week.